Low testosterone isn't just an old man problem. As a matter of fact, it isn't an aging problem at all. This simple fact was brought to my attention by a visitor to this channel. Now we tend to think that as we age, it is inevitable that our testosterone levels are going to go down. Now this visitor left a link in his comment to an article. And in this article, it referenced an Australian study called the Healthy Man Study of 325 men between the ages of 40 and 97, with the average age being 60. Now these men all had a BMI that averaged around 26. And this is key because 25 or lower is considered to be healthy. So all of these men had a fairly healthy BMI. Now what they found when they took blood tests from all these men and compared their testosterone levels is that there wasn't a significant difference between these men's levels of testosterone, whether they be 40 or they were 97. Now these findings do not match up with what is happening in the general population. In the population as a whole, a man's testosterone starts to drop by 1% a year, usually starting around their 30s. So why the difference? Well, in the general population, not everybody is healthy. Low testosterone is a symptom, not of old age, but of health. And the number one cause of low testosterone is obesity. And it's not hard to become obese. It is, by definition, 25% body fat in men and 30% body fat in women. Now, I personally would have never defined myself as being obese in my life, but I definitely was. And it creeps up on us slowly, starting in our 20s. So if you are watching this video and you are in your 20s now, you can take steps to positively ensure you never suffer from low testosterone. Obesity is strongly connected to the risk of developing diabetes, high blood pressure, and metabolic syndrome, all conditions associated with low testosterone. Now what about those of us who are no longer in our 20s? Is there any chance for us to turn back the hands of time and bring up our testosterone levels to where they belong? I will leave a link in the description to a study that was done on 891 middle-aged men with the average age of 54. Now all of these men were overweight and suffered from prediabetes, with a quarter of them suffering from low testosterone. Now they broke these men into three groups. And the first group they gave a lifestyle change assignment to. And these men had to exercise 150 minutes of moderate exercise a week and have a calorie restricted diet. Now the second group were just given a drug. They were given the diabetes drug metformin. And the third group was the control group, so they were just given a placebo. This was a one-year study, and after a year, the group assigned the lifestyle change lost on average 17 pounds, and the amount of men that had low testosterone dropped in half, with the amount of testosterone that increased in these men directly correlating to the amount of weight they had lost. The other two groups experienced no change. Now I'm going to leave a link in the description box to one more study. This one showing which of the two lifestyle changes these men made had the biggest impact on boosting testosterone. Was it calorie restriction or was it increased exercise? It was also a shorter study which showed that within 12 weeks you can substantially boost your testosterone levels. And yes, it was the group with the increased exercise. So the majority of us should never have to suffer from low testosterone, as long as we stay active and keep our body fat levels in check. Now if we find that we've allowed ourselves to slip in inactivity or obesity, it's encouraging to know that we can still turn things around and regain our proper hormone function. So this is Lawrence from Fit and 50, signing out, keep working out, keep having fun, Good health leads to good times, and we will talk to you again in that next video.